Hello and welcome. So today we're going to discuss factors that influence the sensitivity of your ATR measurement. So to increase that sensitivity, there are some things we could do. We could consider increasing the number of reflections and move to a multiple reflection ATR. Second, we could look at a variable angle ATR where we can change the angle closer to the critical angle, which then increases the absorbance band strength because the depth of penetration is larger. Another thing that we could do is to look at the ATR crystal you're using. Perhaps you could increase the sensitivity by using a crystal with a lower refractive index. This in turn will increase your depth of penetration. And another thing we could do is to increase the energy throughput. So that would mean make sure that your ATR is optimally aligned. And second, we could look at the ATR crystal itself. So today I'm gonna to take an example from our HATR. Now our standard HATR has an 80 millimeter long, four millimeter thick crystal. So in the case of zinc selenide, we have a typical throughput of a new crystal between 20 and 25%. Now, a one way we can increase that energy throughput is to coat the ends of the crystal where the beam's going in with an anti-reflective coating. So in this example, by coating the ends of the crystal where the beam comes in, we've increased the energy throughput roughly by about 12 percentage points. So how does this translate into uh, peak to peak noise, which that will affect your signal to noise ratio. So in this example, we have 100% decrease in our noise. Now for a lot of applications, you're not working down in the weeds of that noise anyway, but for those who are really pushing the limits, of the sensitivity of their HATR, this coating the crystal might just be what you need. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.